part two of a fever you can't sweat out by Pank Disco. Starting with line is the most fun. Let's go, I'm ready for this. Nice, nice vocals. Okay, this is a good pickup from where I left off. This is in the vein of the first two. This is what the last track should have been. Catch your course, catch your course, catch your course. Nice build up. Clearly done. It's not quite catchy, but it's. Oh, it started playing Camisado again. Okay. Here. I was about to say that sounds familiar. I don't know why I went back to Camisado. We're gonna fix that then. Okay, okay, right song now. Sorry for the technical difficulties. I was about to say, I told you I'd forget Camisado. I think it was Camisado I said I would forget. I did. And it's only been like 20 minutes since I filmed part one. Oh, that's pretentious. Dude, why? That's worse than the good, the bad, and the dirty line on Death of a Bad Flare. You all know the one I'm talking about. Here we go. Speaking of catchy courses, now that we're on the real song. I'm gonna have to take a couple points off for that one line though. But that's okay, because it's already at about 90. That's a good transition back into the verse. That chorus is smooth. His vocals are nice too. It is going to be condensed too though. I'm, I'm saying that right now. I'm not dancing to this. Is this the, I'm assuming this is the bridge. The piano is nice. The drum change is nice. Oh my, that line. Why did you use that line twice? You couldn't come up with a new line. Alright, alright. I'm just gonna ignore the lyrics. Hope he doesn't say it again. Oh, change. This almost sounds like an end track, and I mean it's the last track before intermission, so I'm assuming this is like the next part of the album will change. I don't remember, but I'm assuming. This is a good song. Piano back. You better put the chords back in. Now. I'm assuming this is going into the animation here. But that, that was a solid track. 83 out of 100, definitely. Uh. 86 out of 100, actually. Because I looked at my time dance score, and that's. <laughs> Dude, why do you go full electronic? What happens to the guitar? This is 2 minute 35 second intermission. This better not all be this. Uh, again with the electric drums. I'm not feeling this.
that that kick in the back is nice. Ooh, switch up. That shouldn't have been there. This is how this intermission should have started from the beginning. This is coming back to me. This is beautiful now. This should have. This fits the theme perfectly. Not that trash does in the beginning. This actually sounds like a theater song. And I could say that because I've done theater before. Just got kind of sway to it. Sounds like something you'd hear in theater or carnival or something. It does sound nice. This might be too long though. It's speeding up. That's a nice touch. I'm hoping it explodes into some guitars going into the next track though. But it's better if you do. Yeah, that's 79. Without the intro, with, without that weird intro, it might have been better than my last track. Here we go. I'm fine with there being no guitar here except the bass. And it fits going from the last track. There's a clap pattern. Here's a guitar. Here's a catchiness. Here's a panic of disco I know. This might be the second song to hit 90. I remember this song. I think I suppressed the third song. That's a good vocal. I love this part. It's, it's great. It is so it hurts. It, it's not like something that should be hard to build. But just the way he says the things, it makes it sound like, ooh, this is new. I forgot about this. I remember why I bought this album now. I'm a favorite. Ooh. That bass, this almost sounds menacing. Almost. That runs. Oh, this is something you could sing along to instantly. Just. You hear it once, you know it. I'm, th I'm thinking. 89 out of 100, 90 out of 100, 90 out of 100. It's on the level of this person. Going into Iron Sense Not Tragedies. Good song. <laughs>
guys, and hopefully I get through this. All set pattern. I love this song. The guitar on this is perfect. They do everything right. You can hear the full bands there again. The storytelling on this is great. I'm creating a new rating for this one that I would like the exact opposite not good. I'm calling this classic because this is, this song it's classic. I I don't feel like it deserves the hundred. But I don't feel like it doesn't deserve the hundred. So it's classic. I don't think I need to spend much more time on this song, so... Oh, nice intro. I constantly think I'm impressed. Oh. Whatever that means. Oh, the acoustic. I don't think I ever got this far into the album to listen to this. Wait a second. My belly just is here again. I'm trying to charge my phone so that's not. This is a nice bridge. I know this might not be the bridge either. I don't think this is the bridge. They're, they're like to jump in the background. I'm trying to focus on the lyrics. I can't though. So, in your face. <laughs> of course, it comes more than this. That almost sounded like it was recorded live, in like a concert on stage. This is me. I like the vocal effects there. Build up. Real bridge. I was waiting for that. This isn't as catchy. It's gonna be another 70 or low 80. It could be a 90 if it's the catchier, but. Still thumbs up. Here's your Brad Taste rating. Golden thumbs up. I guess I'd make Camisado a polar shrug, though. This cut off too quick, I think. But 
that's gonna be 78 out of 100. This, this fountain. Right? Oh, nah. Yeah, it's drumming now. What happened to the catchiness? The last part was catchy. The beat's still good though. I like this. <sighs> the question is, is it better than the last track? I think it is. Yeah, yeah. This is a high end baby. It's not as good as London's beckoning. It's talking about money written. These lines are good. This song's actually well written lyrically. I think most of them have been lyrically well written. It's just the vocals have been really coming and going. What's this? It explodes well. This song is getting 89 out of 100. Let's uh, get the crap off because I thought it was dumb, bro. Let's get in here. Build God, then we'll talk. It's probably the one song I remember most, other than I had some shot tragedy. I'm on a spinning chair, in case you guys haven't noticed how I can move so much. Good slow down. It's good end of the track. Three minutes forty seconds now. So we'll see if it drags on. That build up. The catchiness is back. It's been back for about. It's been back these two tracks. It's back for part of my cost, deleting God for a spot. And of course, I write since not tragedy is. The drumming is amazing. I wish they still had their drummer. And they wouldn't use so many electronic drums. Well, hopefully. Hopefully this picks up a bit. I'm hoping. 
I like it either way. The vocals are nice, they're smooth. This might be the best track on the album. Storytelling voice really nice. I think I think that was a, uh, some sort of play reference. I forget what it's called. Which that reference fits though. Better explode. It's building. It's better. All right. It's fine. Alright. This gives it like the parts of the These are a few of my favorite things. That's the reference. So it fits. I just wish it didn't make me think of Seven Rings by Ariana Grande. That song's terrible. I know this kept first, though. Is that the end? Alright, so that's on the album. It's a good album. That song? Mm, 90 out of 100. Nothing on this album is passing 90. Except, I guess, like, classic ratings technically higher than 90. But it's a good album for the most part. There are a few lows. My least favorite that song. Mills for Breakfast, Tax for Snacks. And Camisada were my two least favorite. Camisada might be better for the follow up to Mills for Breakfast, Tax for Snacks. Um, also, the introduction is bad. I wish they had left that off the album, but I see why it's there. And their intermission, they had that whole first part cut from it. Intermissions aren't. You don't need to have two or three minute long intermission as a song, anyways. You might as well just call it a song then. Um, for the most part, though, it's all them. My favorite songs are It's Not Tragedies, Bill God, Then We Talk, There's a Good Reason, and the only difference between Long Title, because that's Panic Disco, Fall Out Boy, My Chemical Romance, all do that. It's. it's just the 2000s pop punk way. But yeah, for the most part, it was a good album. I don't think there's any part. Well, I'm not gonna say that. Because Nose for Breakfast Tax was next year degrading. Like, I literally thought my ears were about to start bleeding with those vocals at the beginning. And I could not focus in on the rest of the song. It just threw me out of the vibe. But for the most part, yeah, it's a good album. And the album score out of 100, 80, 83 out of 100. Because there are some major vibe killers in there. Like Nils for Breakfast and Camisada throw you out of the vibe of the album. I feel like. Intermission kind of threw you out there for a second, too. And I constantly thank God for Esteban. Threw me out of the vibe, too. But two of those I consider good songs. I mean, Camisada wasn't terrible. Yeah. So I guess some thumbs up. Um, I might or might not review their follow up. I haven't decided yet. I already know what my next reaction is going to be. So, <laughs> I guess you guys will see. Just like, subscribe, comment what you want to see down below. And yeah, enjoy your day.